Hello everyone, Fox here, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem. Last time we, uh, we got in a little bit of trouble with, uh, some mercenaries that were out to kill us. Supposedly, but hired by, I think it was our uncle's brother. Well, that kind of shitty. Or maybe it was our grandfather's brother. That would make sense. But, anyway... We will continue on to our journey to find our grandfather and see what's going on. Anyway, a small altar lies on the outskirts of Bulgar. This ancient temple, sacred to the people of Skans, has long been known for its powerful bond to the world of spirits. Before starting their journey, our travelers come here to pray for their well-being. At this altar, Lin's hand is directed to a grand inheritance. Aha! What could this be? Well, let's find out. In Chapter 2 Sword of Spirits. Fox, hold on a moment. And Val, allow me to a short detour. There's a sacred sword enshrined in an altar east of here. The people of Scans go there to pray for safety at the onset of a long journey. Oh, how quaint! The teachings of El Elimi have the most followers in Elib. Elib? Elib. It is nice to see that here, at least, the ancient customs are still observed. Old man, stay where you are, and hold up, uh, and hold your, yeah, and hold your tongue. Threaten me as you will, but I will not give up Manakati. The Manakati is a sacred blade under divine protection. It cannot be removed from its place, from its place of rest. You're a fool, old man. What good's a sword if if you don't use it? Use it in combat. Sacrilege. Sacrilege? I'm glass. The gods fear my name. My sword play is peerless. And if I want this sword, then this sword I shall have. Now, get out of my way. Ugh. This is it. It's more magnificent than I imagined. The sword was made from a swordsman of my skill. Hmm? What's this? I can't draw the sword. From its scabbard? The spirits of the blade have judged you. You have been found wanting. They have rejected you. What? Listen, you senile fool. If you value your own life, you'll get out of my sight. Curses. Miserable spirits. I care nothing for you. I'll tear this altar down, stone by stone. I beg your pardon, milady. Are you headed east to the altar? Yes, we are indeed. Then you must hurry and help the priest there. I saw a band of local ruffians head in there not too long ago. They seem intent on stealing the altar's sacred sword. The Manakati? Is they going to steal it? I cannot allow this to happen. You look like a virtuous group. Please, help him. Lindus, what are you planning? If you're hoping to go to the priest's aid, you'll need to prepare. You're right. Say, Fox. There are some homes to the south of us. Perhaps we should go there and question the residents. So we can search homes um, that will give us hints or even possibly items or money. I shall take the lead. Alright. Tell me what you would like me to do, Fox. You want me to visit that home, right? I understand. 
I understand. Whoops. Come on. I'm using the joystick and I shouldn't use that. I should be using the D-pad. Say, aren't you the... Oh, you're going to help the priest. Well, perhaps you can benefit from something I saw earlier. The Bennets may have the main entrance guarded. However, one of the altar walls is cracked and is in, and in poor repair. You might be able to create another entrance by hitting this hit section with your weapons. We're all counting on you. I don't want to break the altar. Alright, Sane, you can go to this house. Mountains make it a bit more difficult to be hit. Or difficult to traverse. If you're riding on horseback, you can't cross them at all. Be careful. Oh, so I need to go through the... Okay. So... We can't technically... Hold on. Yeah, we can't actually pass this area with... Um, Sane or... Uh, Kent. Because there's mountains completely blocking them. It's basically a wall for them. I guess it's because horses are too big to fit on the tiny mountains. Do you know much about the sword held at the altar? It's called the Manakati, blessed by the spirits. According to the priest, the Manakati is waiting for the, its rightful owner to appear. It's so odd, don't you think? The idea that a sword can choose who will wield it. Okay, so... We didn't get very much information, but we do know now that uh, fortresses for protection, blah blah blah. I think I explained this in the prologue. If you're standing on a fortress, you're harder to hit, and you also gain uh, health each turn you're on it. So he has an axe, and my sword is equipped, so I'll stay there. Uh, I'll have I'll have Kent go here. And I'll have Lynn go here. Of course, he goes after Lynn. Didn't know he had that much movement, but that's fine because Lynn is super powerful. Oh, she only got... Okay, I was going to say, she only got one head off. What? What the fuck's this barbarian speed? Or bandit, I should say. I call them barbarians because that's what they look like to me. So this is a Seize the Throne, blah, 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 blah. All that stuff doesn't matter. It's all tutorial stuff. It's just like, hey, you need to do this to win. So, it's all not that important. So I'm gonna go do this, finish off this guy. Boom. Because Lynn is awesome. Now we're gonna have our knights move up. And I think, can Sane? Yeah, Sane can get to the wall. Uh, I'm gonna poke it with the lance, because it does take durability. And lances aren't very useful at the moment. Uh, of course, you'd go after him. Sane's used to getting hit. It's kind of his forte. Uh, I'm actually going to check levels really quick after this. Uh, how do I... Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. So... Whoops, that was the wrong button. Sorry guys. Still getting used to the, the virtual console. So he is level 1. So I want him to get some kills. Because he needs it. So that's dead. Yeah. So now Kent is level 2. HP and defense. Those are very good stats to have. I'm going to keep plunging away at this wall. Now it's open. So, Sane might get attacked by two guys here, which could be dangerous. But they only seem to do six damage, so... Hopefully he's fine. If he's not, I might have to reboot here. Six, yeah, he's fine, he's fine. I, I mean, I say he's fine, he's down to one HP. <laughs> he's not doing great.
Yeah, I'm gonna use that Vulnary. And you just stay right where you are, buddy. You're safe there. Uh, so he has 10 HP, he has 9 HP. Can Kent kill this guy? He can. Perfect. So Kent will kill him. And I'll have Lin fight off the other one. As you can see, now the chapters are getting much longer and actually complicated. 35! Fuck you! <laughs> Fucking 35% chance to hit and you do. The fuck is... The fuck. Okay, so Glass doesn't seem to move as I predicted. Because he's on... Or he's on a throne and seizing the throne would win. So what's her HP at? 11 and 21. I'm gonna go have Kent stand down here. But I want to get Sane the experience for the actual, like, kill on the boss. So I'm gonna see what this is like. So I do 10 damage and I would take 7. Oof. I'm gonna have to use a Vulner right here. Just to heal up. Oh wow, I'm surprised that bandit didn't come in. That's okay, I'll, I'll have Sane go out and take him out. Take him out. He's got a lot of HP. I was gonna say 26, I will I will be very upset. But Ken can take him on by himself. So now this is where the Lance comes in handy because this guy's a swordsman. So the Lance is actually extremely effective here, but he still has a high dodge chance because he's on a seize point, I believe. Actually no, Swordmasters are also just naturally dodgy. So so he can do three damage to me and that's it. So yeah, I'll just have Sane just whittle him down. Who do you think you are? What chance you got thing What chance do you think you have against me? Oof. I fucking shoved oh god. I shoved that lens right through your skull. I'm just gonna have Lynn sit around because Lynn's already pretty good level. Class heals up. Miss. Another 11. You. You. Uh, uh. <sighs> nice. Getting seen that experience that he needs. Hopefully he gets a better level. Oh yeah. Skill speed, luck, and resistance. Uh, resistance is basically... Actually, yeah, I should go over that while we get a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting items from killing enemies. Kill him off, Sane. Or Kent. Sorry, Kent. You probably don't want to be called Sane. It's kind of probably an insult. Anyway. Then I... Okay, so I'm gonna go through... What I know... The, um... The skills to mean in this game. I'm not 100% sure on all of them. But strength increases the damage you deal. Uh... Skill increases your accuracy and I believe crit maybe uh, speed increases how many times you get to hit and I believe it also increases your dodge ability um, luck increases your crit chance and I think that's it defense increase, uh, decreases the amount of damage you take resistance decreases the amount of magic damage you take and uh, move is just movement uh, movement usually never upgrades unless you're uh, upgrading your class. And con, I believe, is the weight of the weapons that you can wield. I'm not positive on that one. But, that's pretty much what all the stats mean. So it's actually kind of nice for him to get resistance there because we need someone with high resistance. Okay. So everyone's dead, and now we have to seize the throne. Which I will have Lynn do, because it's her. Ugh, your clothing. Are you from the Lorca tribe? I am Lynn, the chieftain's daughter. Are you hurt, sir? Thanks to you, I am unscathed. You have my gratitude. And the sword, is it safe? Yes, I have it sealed. Mm. Yes, I have it sealed. 
I have sealed the sword safely away. Until I remove my spell, the sword cannot be drawn. Now, as a token of my gratitude, I shall allow you to lay hands upon Man Manakati. Touch the blade's pattern and pray for, your sa for a safe journey. Oh, th thank you so much. Mm hmm? What did... The sword, it's glowing. Uh, hmm. It's power. It's the power of the spirits. Then, they have looked into your soul, and they call out to you. Well, what does that mean? You are its rightful owner. You are to wield the Manakati. No. No, I can't. I couldn't. It is the sword's wish. If you require proof, draw it from its sheath. Um... It came out. Effortlessly. I never dared to hope that I might meet the wielder of the Manakati in my life. I am indeed fortunate to see your sword reach your hands. My sword? It is time for you to go, Lin. You face a great many ordeals. Grip this sword and meet your destiny head on. Yes. Yes, sir. Gain the Manakati. So, this is the Manakati. A blade with no equal. This is also unbelievable. Perhaps the most famous sword in all of scans. In my hand. It's not so strange. In fact, many legends tell similar tales. Some special blades all over the land call out to their proper owners. And yet, when I saw you draw that blade, Lindis, I felt something extraordinary. That sword was waiting for you. You were meant to draw it. Stop it, I... I am nothing special. Think of it this way. Think of it this way. Some weapons feel more comfortable in your hands, right? Well, the Manakati itself feels very comfortable with you. Does it make sense? Does this make it any easier for you to accept? It doesn't appear that either of you... It doesn't appear that either of us can use it. It... It does feel right in my hands. A blade that only I can wield. That seems reasonable enough. And I can understand that. Look at it, Fox. This is the Manakati. This is... my sword. I must care for it well. Uh-oh. We're getting a little bit of story into... Castle Kaelin. What? Mandolin's daughter? Is still alive? Uh, yes, Lord Logan. The girl is traveling with Kent and Sane. What are your orders? If we let them be. Bah! I've heard n that Northern Burn is full of bandits. She'll just be. She's just a girl. She'll not survive her journey here. I'm more concerned with my older brother. His life must be ended quickly. The poison. There must be no blunders. Yes, my lord. He suspects nothing and continues to drink it. The Marquess's death, due. Do no doubt to sudden illness is not far off. <laughs> Soon. Soon Kaelin will be mine. What a dick. Anyway guys, that will be all for this episode. I know it was kind of long this time, but chapters do get longer. And I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.